Welcome to 2004 Podcast Odyssey. I'm Javon Gordon. Say your name. No. Say your name. I've taken a vow of silence, Javon. You know this. And I just broke it. With me. Just so I could record this intro for your stupid podcast. As always... Bobby DeVore. That I've been a part of for the past... Just say your goddamn name. Bobby... I'm Bobby DeVore. I, I can't be a monk anymore. Yeah. You never had the makings of a Wash <coughs> City monk fleet. I, uh... I don't have the hair for it either. Because mm. I have too much hair. Yeah. They gotta be bald or something yeah. like that. Yeah, have you ever been to, uh... Well, some of those aren't, like... Was that, like, medieval monks that had the dang... Where it's just, like, a... Like a the reverse middle? bowl cut? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, there's still... Those are friars. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's, that's a different <coughs> Have you, thing. Have uh, you ever been to uh, that one place? I saw monks on the walking bridge. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, we have... Dude, we have monks. Yeah. Up in uh, that place. You know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, uh, there's a... I'm struggling for the name of it. It's like a... Of course, it's like a saint something or other place. Uh. It's a... Uh, let's say it's in, like... Greenville or uh, Georgetown? Saint or Pedophilia, so the vow of silence. Of the, it, it we never a, bring it up. <laughs> they are Catholic monks, so yeah. that would make sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. You can go there and you can actually see them. They'll be in their uh, garb. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they wear trucker hats, apparently. <laughs> a trucker hat? Yeah. My that's real told. Indiana. That's real. Yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend told me a story about that. Awful. Truly yeah. awful. Yeah. Terrible choice. Pretty sure in the robes and shit, but with a trucker hat on. Mm. They should be wearing Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, weird, just weird choices of monks in their fashion sense. The you robes, know, but if, then like a trucker hat and some Jordans. Dude, if I was a monk, my shoe game would have to be tight. Like if I had, if that was, if I had to wear like robes and shit, I would have tight ass shoes. Yeah. <laughs> because like, what else are you gonna do? You know. Also, the other monks can't say anything because they can't see them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, because it's under the... Yeah, because it's under the robe. Yeah. And then when you got a flex on them, you just, like... And they can't say up. anything because they can't... Speak, yeah. Yeah. Because all monks have their tongues cut out. <laughs> yeah. By me. Which is weird, because if I was a monk, I would be flossing all the time. Flossing? Yeah, so I don't know why... God, uh, that didn't work all that great. Was it about <clears throat> your teeth stuff? No, it was about uh, flossing. No, I, I got couldn't it. speak. Yeah. But I would be flossing it, which doesn't work. You know, Kanye could never be a... This is struggling. Let's... It's, uh, you know, Kanye in the early 2000s could have been a monk when he had his jaw wired shut. Yeah. He could have, uh... But Kanye never... Hymns, Kanye definitely could have never been a monk. Yeah. The man uh, never... Does not like to shut up. So. I mean, uh, give him a little bit, he might be, you know, like a uh, mystic. Huh? That joke doesn't work. I'm sorry. Let's move on. Because he's... Low-key, it's sort of offensive. Is it about how he's crazy or something? Yeah, it's about how it's okay. crazy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but it, it was going to hit home a little too rough, and it's not cool in the first place, and it wasn't that funny, so. All right. <clears throat> you putting it together? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, Joe Biden finally picked his VP. Yeah. After a bunch of, like, Google telling me about, ooh, who's, who's he going to pick? Who's he going <clears> to <throat> pick? Turn, not this lady. Not yeah. this lady. And it, it's a person who you could have put together months ago that he was going to pick. Uh, you know, I... It made sense to me because I, I heard the speculation. I was like, oh, of course, that's what he's going to do. Because it makes sense and it looks good for his image. Yeah. Um, but I could understand people not seeing this or seeing this coming out of left field. Those people are stupid. <laughs> yeah, those people are stupid, but I can see a lot of people thinking that. Just like I can see a lot of people voting for Joe Biden. Yeah. Because they're stupid. Yes. Myself included. Mm hmm. You especially. You're the stupidest. <laughs> Not with you. Out of all the, the millions of people in this uh, country. <laughs> yeah. Out of all the millions of votes for Joe Biden, mine is the dumbest. Yeah. You, you're you going to actually write in vote, but you're going to like misspell his name. <laughs> you're going to misspell have, Joe and, and Biden. Know, 49% uh, Joe Biden. Yeah. Uh, for prime minister. 
47 uh, percent Donald Trump, point oh oh two percent for uh, Jew Budin. <laughs> that's my vote. Yeah, that's that's my vote. You actually think he's Joe Budden, the rapper? Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is y'all. Pro- I love those those tweets where people just go. This is who y'all vote him for, and it's just like a Joe Budden tweet about how horny he is or something. <laughs> hey, Joe Budden would still make a better president than Kanye. No, I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> I would say he'd be better. Well, he's it. probably more mental. He's more mentally stable. Exactly. Than Kanye. That's yeah. my point. Uh, in terms of rappers, that would be. And your 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 uh, distaste for mentally ill people is disgusting, and I'm really getting tired. <laughs> I had a very meaningful conversation with a coworker about. Uh, her and her son uh, talking to her about anxiety. Yeah. And uh, I told her uh, that it's a very good thing that her son feels open enough to talk to her about it. Yeah. Uh, at the young age of that. How old is he? Uh, he's Four. like. He's like. Dang, eight. he's really mature. He's like uh, probably like eight or nine or something. Oh shoot. Her daughter, who's older than him, uh, is in like fifth grade. Yeah. So she's like becoming a like preteen or whatever, mm-hmm. or like going into the yeah teen yeah, age, yeah, yeah yeah middle school years. So like, uh, we were talking about that, and then she was telling me about her son saying that, and I was like, "Girl, that's really good." Yeah. And especially being early like that, you can watch it and you can you know get help beforehand. Cause like I went undiagnosed yeah. with my problems until I was like twenty. Yeah. And uh, I uh, suffered a lot because of it. So. Yeah. It was good to hear that. Um, but, <clears throat> you know, in terms of rappers, that would make a good president. I'm, I'm kind of thinking, like, is Q-Tip too hotep to be our president? Q-Tip? Is he too hotep? Q-Tip. Q-Tip? Uh, I don't think he's a hotep. Okay. Hotep's just like Q-Tip, probably, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... Because when I think of Hotep, I think of a Trap Ball Quest. If I was going to put music to a Hotep, Trap Ball Quest, right? Because uh, it's Afrocentric? <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of Afrocentric rap. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. It's one of the best Afrocentric. Okay. But it's, I don't think uh, it's... The Fugees? Probably the Fugees. No, there's a woman in a... <laughs> <laughs> Why Clef Jean's solo career? Maybe. Um, I feel like why Clef- maybe just his personal behavior. <laughs> it's Wyclef yeah. Jean's personal behavior. Uh, Wyclef Jean wouldn't make a good president. Well, you said it here for- first, folks. Don't vote for <coughs> Wyclef Jean for a United States president. So, or so- go back in time and vote for him when he ran for, I don't know, prime minister of Haiti or whatever it was. Yeah, didn't he was win president that? of Haiti? Something like that. Didn't he, he win that shit? And didn't like embezzle money or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I looked that up actually. I can't remember the exact details of this. So, uh, like if John was president. Okay, that's what that was the joke I was hoping you would go down, and then I was gonna make a joke about Haiti. And then he robbed Haiti blind. Which is uh, interesting because Haiti was already deaf. Because y'all like Haiti might have been the article we need. Go back. Legally known as the Wyclef Jean Foundation. That's just about his the work he's done. No, but l- read it. Like, man, you know I can't read. Operated it. until 2012, when the charity was closed following investigations by the New York Attorney General over financial issues. Okay, <clears throat> the LA had publicized his fundraising to aid victims of the 2010 Haiti earthquake, but by February of that year, the New York Times reported the questions were raised over its finances that funds have been used personally to benefit John. Mirrors of a circle. Okay, that's what happened there. Oh. Uh, okay. Is it? Is that it though? Because I, I have a I have a feeling he might have done some shit to Haiti, like to the to the state. The state of Haiti. <clears throat> state in the sense like of Africa, the country of Africa. <laughs> it, it was a joke. State as a like people people call the state. I don't like your like, sense of humor. <laughs> uh, like people refer to countries as the state. Okay, 2010 <clears throat> Haiti presidential campaign. 
Whitecliffe confirmed rumors that he was running for president of Haiti during an interview with CNN's Wolf Blitzer. The journalist questioned the rapper's citizenship qualifications, asking about his passport. Exclaimed magazine reporter at the time that John retires chairman of the of Yale Haiti. On August 5th, Jean formally filed papers as a candidate for the 2010 Haitian presidential election. Wyclef attended the run as candidate for for the Viv Asan Live Together political party. On August 20th, 2010, his bid for candidacy was rejected by Haiti's Provisional okay. Electoral Council. Council. He was turned down because he did not meet the constitutional residency requirement of having lived in Haiti for five years before the November 28th election. Okay. Okay. So now the that's yeah he just it was yeah like Hades thing that we were looking for <coughs> yeah. that's what he did. So uh, I do want to clarify, people refer to like countries as the state. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I meant it in that way. Yeah. And I was trying to make a joke. Yeah. I was having a rough day. <laughs> you know, I, I, I my day was on a rough start. I will say, I, I had a rough start today. Yeah, my day's been fine. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it happened. Huh. Every word does nine eleven, so you can. Yeah. That's that's the account, man. <clears throat> oh man, that's a. Every time I Damn. see, every time I see, dude, and we caught that because that's six minutes old. Yeah, give it a like, and uh, that's a, <laughs> just... it's, it's a beautiful. <laughs> Be- beautiful thing. No, no, no. Every time somebody <coughs> complains about that account, I'm like, yeah, it's uh, that's you read what it says, right? Yeah. You know, it tells you straight up what it is. Yeah, it's a bot. Every dude. word does 9/11. <coughs> it does not care. You act like like they're ch- somebody. I had a friend who, who got all mad and act on Twitter. A Twitter friend who got all mad and act like, see, this this is a this is a edge lord account it's gonna account that's gonna tweet some edge lord stuff what was but the, it's what were, what were they talking about i think it was like the n-word or something said uh, 9-11 or whatever <laughs> i can't remember what it was that's hilarious though <laughs> it, that's fucking hilarious yeah but <laughs> that's it hey it's every word did 9-11 so, uh, my question is like do you do like uh, like proper nouns show up like will it give you like you know, like, would it ever say something like, oh, well, I know it did Bush did 9-11. Yeah, that's its pen tweet. Uh, did, like, will it ever say something like, um, like, I don't know, Al Gore did 9-11? Or, like, will it say, like, proper nouns? It might say Gore did 9-11. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's still funny. But it's like, it probably has, like, a dictionary set up to it, not an encyclopedia. Yeah. yeah. So it's like gonna be like word words, not yeah. proper words. Okay. Ah oh, man, do you want to say what it says? What if it like says what the tweet? Yeah. It says rapes did nine eleven. Yeah, uh, I just didn't want to say it out loud. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but, like it's not like I'm claiming saying the phrase. It's the tweet. I'm no, telling them the tweet. What? Why is it hard for you to say that tweet? Uh. Because I don't want to. I don't want to say. It. I don't, want to, don't, I, don't put it on I, me. I, don't I, don't I, laugh at inappropriate things and put it on me to say the inappropriate things. Hey, hey. <laughs> if I don't say the word, it doesn't happen in the world. All right? <laughs> Dang. Uh, Bobby's parents told him the entire childhood that every bad thing happened because he said that, <laughs> that that thing happened. That's why Bobby has never used the word murder <laughs> since <laughs> fifth grade. Yeah, uh... They really told me that after I said I wanted to murder my teacher and everybody in my school <laughs> with the handgun in my dad's closet. Did you do that? Did he have a handgun in his closet? No. My dad's actually never owned a handgun. Oh. Yeah. Uh, my dad's always been too scared to own a handgun. Oh. Uh, so your dad's... Pussy. Like, Damn. <laughs> he beat me to it. Uh, my dad... No. My dad never did keep a gun in the house either. Yeah. My my dad never owned a hand like we have like uh old hunting shotguns and like a couple rifles mm. in a gun safe. Yeah. Uh but my dad never wanted to have a handgun cuz he A gun safe? Is it in a gun bank in the gun vault? Yes. You have to go to the gun bank and get a gun key to get into the gun vault to it's just shooting at the vault. <laughs> the, the <laughs> shoot. You have to shoot the teller to get the key. <laughs> That's how they give you the... They hire a new teller every day. <laughs> yeah. They go do tellers like toilet paper. It's crazy. Dude, it is, I don't know why people still sign up for that job. They must pay really well. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hon- honestly. 
they're, they're like, mm, only, if it gets to, just a shoulder, I'll be fine. <laughs> just a shoulder, I own a little money, it's, it's fine. <laughs> and then I realized, no, this hurts really, really bad. Especially because not every single one of them dies, okay. but like a lot of them, they realize again, shot hurts. <laughs> but uh, my dad was always afraid. He's like super hot headed. Uh, yeah. And he thought he would kill him. He's actually dude. Your dad is super hot. Yeah, and he does give good head. Especially uh, with his head. <laughs> okay. Uh, people used to think my dad's legs were sexy. Like my sister's friends. Oh, that's so, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think your dad's <laughs> legs are kind of cute. <laughs> so, 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 like, uh, <laughs> shit, I was going to say something. Dude, my dad's been talking about getting a handgun recently, though. Oh. Because of the events in the world. So, hey, he's scared about COVID? Yeah, he's going to shoot COVID out of existence. Does he think he's gonna shoot everybody? Is he is he one of those idiots that's mad about people wearing masks? And he says, "I'm gonna shoot anybody I see wearing a mask." It's not real. Yeah. <laughs> shoot your mask off. <laughs> he's like, "I'm the fastest, <laughs> fastest shot in the west." <laughs> uh, actually, and he actually is good at it. He actually just shoots your mask off. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Dude, <laughs> so, it's, it's like you know a paper thin uh, exactly piece of cloth over your face. Somehow does it. Uh, like with precise takes it accuracy. clean off the ears somehow. No, no, no harm to you. No yeah. harm to your person at all. <laughs> uh, in fact, stupid, it, but you know, not dangerous. <laughs> in fact, it hurts the gun and bullet a whole lot more the way he shoots it. Uh, so also, all his guns and bullets are sentient, so they can feel when he shoots them and holds them. Yeah, it's kind of the gun cries a lot at night. Yeah, it's like why do you you. <laughs> I meant to kill people, not shoot masks off the of faces. <laughs> the gun's just pissed because it can't kill unarmed yeah. civilians. That's all the gun like wants to do. Brother. Once the like, <clears throat> since guns started becoming sentient about a month ago. Yeah. I don't know why people still use it. It's so clear they're all psychopaths. <laughs> Every gun I've ever met is just a clear psychopath. Yo, people don't. I wish kill to people. kill. <laughs> people, people don't kill people. Murder, bloodthirsty guns kill people. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, back to real, back to the real world, out of this yeah, realm of fantasy but, and <laughs> make believe. My, my dad does. He has been talking about getting a handgun. Yeah. Uh, because of like the protests and everything. Stupid. Yeah, he is. I'm actually scared to death that my dad would have a handgun. Yeah. Like especially in my house right now. Yeah. Because like, my my parents' relationship could turn at any point. And I don't want to have to deal with that. I might be, not be talking to my mom right now. Because she fucking sucks, mom. Fuck you, mom. Uh, I mean, she does suck, but it's whatever. It's getting dark. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to... I don't want to see my mom dead. Can we can we uh, chill on this a little bit? I don't want to see my mom murdered and my dad <laughs> having committed suicide in the other room. <laughs> I don't want to walk into my dad, Crispin, walling my mom. <laughs> well, let me trigger one down. If Crispin, if a Crispin wall situation happens, yeah, no, I would have everybody to who lives in the house. <laughs> yeah, is which is which makes sense because my older sister, yeah, would still be alive because she doesn't live there. She's with uh, yeah. her stepmother. Yeah, and uh, she'd be like the other Benoit kid. Yeah, and then she. She's well, gonna, she will join the WWE. Yeah, she's gonna wrestle under my dad's name. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> What's your dad's name? Say his uh, name. The same name as me. Ah. Uh, he goes by Bob. Okay. Yeah, because he's older. Uh, you no. still think you're a child? That's why you go by Bobby, and he no, and so, he accepts that he's an adult. No, so my he goes dad. By Bob. <laughs> so my dad grew up with a nickname. Yeah. Um, and by the time he grew out of his nickname, uh. A lot of people called him Robert in school. Yeah. Um, but then he started going by Bob at a certain point. Mm-hmm. But, uh... Since your dad grew up in, like, <laughs> Leave it to Beaver days and yeah. stuff, and then so, back in the happy days... My grandpa, my mom... Things are better in the segregationist years. <laughs> my grandma called my grandpa Bobby a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, as, like, a nickname. Yeah. Or, like, a pet name sort of thing. And, uh, so that was probably why my dad got referred to as Bob. Mm-hmm. But, uh, my grandpa did get referred to as Bob as well. Um, but my dad, after he stopped going by his nickname, he started going by Bob. Because his nickname was Butch. And it was like a, oh, a little Butchy Butch, Butch Boy. Uh, like a little pet name. I'll call him Lipstick. Kid. What? Uh, lipstick? Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Okay. That'll be the name. Or yeah. Young Ma. I'm going to call your dad Young Ma. <laughs> and uh, he won't get it. He's going to live in all. hip-hop. But I'll call him. <laughs> but, uh, so my dad's just always gone my Ba. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to go, ooh. Um, Sorry, I'm thinking of there's this YouTube series. I told you about it. Peanut from the Blankety Blank. I can't remember. It's it's a black like puppet like it's like a hand puppet. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. making hand puppet motions. Yeah, and it's um and he's like a it's just like a gangster uh, or a rapper sometimes. I don't know. Okay. And it's just like this weird like like uh. It's not like sitcommy. <laughs> Nobody's behavior is that sitcommy. It's like there's. It's clearly the absurdity of the puppet is yeah. the humor, okay. but it seems almost like it's almost like a grimy street documentary. Is <laughs> 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 the mood? There's this one where apparently he, he had relations with a <clears throat> with a butch lesbian. He's just kind of like antagonizing her about getting an like <clears throat> getting rid of before she gets pregnant with his kid, like in the store or whatever. Jesus. And, like, it's just, just straight being misogynistic as all hell. And then she tries to get into his car after he leaves the store. And he's like, no, no. Uh, he's like, he starts quoting that uh, Young Ma song. And he's like, it's like, what the fuck? You've never told me about this. <laughs> yeah. I would remember that. I've told you about this. <laughs> no, you have Go on YouTube and look up Peanut uh, Black Puppet. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Peanut from the something. Peanut from the something? Peanut from the... A bunch of numbers, like the area code. Is peanut spelled normally? I think it's from Philly. It's from Philly. It's based in Philly. No, I think it's just spelled peanut. From the two fifteen, I think. From the uh, from the two one five. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Yep. Right. Okay. Uh, I have seen it. Uh, I have seen clips of this. Yeah. Um, is this it? Ooh. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Dude, this is like a whole ass, like, yes. full length series, mm -hmm. dog. Yeah. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of man. episodes of this. Can they hear? They can't hear it. They can't hear it. Should I, like, skip to, like, a, that scene? Yeah. Yeah, so. Dude, I'm. I don't know, man. How do I, I hate, I hate the YouTube ad right now, because <laughs> it's like. Pause. It's like in old videos now. I can't watch anything without randomly the video being interrupted. I mean, I know it gives us warning because you can see yeah. the yellow line, but it still annoys the crap out of me. <laughs> well, it's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place because like you don't want to turn uh, ad block on because then you. If I could, I would turn. On. <laughs> Why would I? Cr creators don't get the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. YouTubers it's... don't get the money, so it's either that. I you wish more YouTubers would do, like... Sponsorships? No, would just, like, tell... Yeah. <coughs> also, just tell us that it's happening in the video. What? Just, like, give us, well, now it's an ad. Or something like that. Uh, something okay. so we yeah. don't... Just, like... We're thrown off. Yeah. I, I do, like... Every once in a while, you do see a creative ad. Like, yeah. where they know where they're gonna put the ad. Yeah. I do like those. Those easy transitions. Uh, so, I actually... I'm not the biggest fan of sponsors. I kind of get sick of hearing that shit. No, it's fine. Really? Because so they need them. And it's way better than 500 ads airing in, in yeah, one video. Yeah, I guess. Because sometimes people do, you know, make creative ones. Yeah. Instead of... I don't like the ones that are just Hey, like, if everybody could get... A, could, could, like, just, like, <clears throat> flow completely off of Patreon, that'd be fine. That'd be way better than yeah. doing ads or sponsors. But there you I, go. Yeah, I say that would be better as I subscribe to no Patreons. Exactly. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It's either that or you pay for YouTube Red, though. I will never pay for no goddamn YouTuber. That's how I feel, man. Fuck yeah. that shit. I'm not paying for YouTube. Nope. I'll pay. I'll pay a creator. Yeah. I'll deal with the ads for a creator. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not giving no goddamn money. <laughs> yeah. Because if you support, if you give money straight to YouTube, I already like give that, enough money to enough evil organizations. Yeah. But you already get money from enough evil evil organizations. Same here. Yeah. So uh, also, like, if you give YouTube direct money. You're supporting them not supporting the creators you care about. Yeah. You're supporting them not pushing uh, or including in the algorithm the creators. Or in the YouTube uh, <laughs> Rewind or whatever at the end yeah, of the year. Yeah, exactly. You know, Where it's just going to be like 15 celebrities and like two actual YouTubers. Yeah, exactly. Well, just Will Smith and uh, <laughs> whoever else. Yeah. I can't think of another celebrity. It's Will Smith, David Dobrik, and Logan Paul Skyping in from jail. 
<laughs> Actually, his last appearance in, in on YouTube is him in his like at the at the um, about to be electrocuted in the electric <laughs> electric chair. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, lethal injection. It's like <laughs> the saying whatever the YouTube song is or whatever as as they're injecting his arm with the poison, and he's slowly. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> you know that's actually how lethal injection is, right? Oh, people scream? No, they, I'm pretty sure they like they inject their arm and then it's like they're just tearing you apart inside or something like really? that. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. I thought it was silent. Yeah, it's cruel. It's really? cruel. Okay. I would like to think that uh, when he goes out like that, he's like, I, I really didn't care about the suicide what if they, what if they in, ca- in Japan. I really didn't care about that dude hanging from the tree. <laughs> It was all fake. Yeah. My I, apology was fake. I'll admit it. I'm a straight up psychopath. <laughs> I thought it was great and jumped Wait, off no. to it later. No. No, that's his brother. Who the younger you? one. Dude, they're the same person, man. Yeah, they are, essentially, but the younger one's no, the one. No, man. I refuse to believe there are two Paul brothers. <laughs> There's just, just one Paul. With a different hairstyle. <laughs> He just does it different for the other videos, man. Yeah, just where he's raking in the money off both accounts. Some makeup that changes facial appearances slightly. Yeah. yeah, he fucks two girls. Yep. So he has two separate girlfriends. Living a double life. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know how he does. I know. I don't know how he gets away with it. He's yeah. all over the internet. Yep. They should be able to track his. Account. Actually, what if the way they they do uh, execute him? It's like medieval style. It's like his head in a. I forget what it's called. Guillotine. No, like... Oh, the the thing where you put your hands in the holes, too? Yeah. And it's like a... I don't know what that's called. And then you got a medieval executioner with, like, an axe. Yeah. <laughs> they stretch Or him. Western style. And they... <laughs> <laughs> or, his arms behind his legs. Got or, the, like, that... Head. The stretch table. Like, stretch his arms out. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. You know what's even better? <clears throat> here, here, he's coming up with no, different no. ways to torture <laughs> him. Hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Here's, here's the way he should go out. So, do you know about, like, the, uh, the four horse thing? Oh, yeah. But they're Teslas. <laughs> <laughs> He's tied up to four separate Teslas. Oh, with a different member of Team 10. And no, it, no. Different, no, different former member of Team 10 that he abused in each Tesla, no, driving it. They don't have to be in the Tesla. They can do it from their phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and one of them's got the drone that's filming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Elon's there. He's sponsoring the event. Yeah. Uh, Grimes is there with her ugly kid. <laughs> Just looking cute. She's not cute. She's not an attractive person. I, that's... Yeah. You know, that's... honestly, if I keep watching New Girl with my girlfriend... What? I might stop thinking Grimes is cute. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that manic pixie dream girl shit is getting on my nerves, dude. <laughs> could not handle that show dude it is it is I, I can see it getting funnier we were only watching the first season but dude i, I don't know it's oh, so we are bobby is as he's just said has been watching the zoe de chanel sitcom <clears throat> uh well not her it's it's she show her she's the lead she didn't create it or anything yeah she but was the lead she is the lead doesn't she go away for a season? No, she's the lead. Uh, the lead. Uh, There's. It's an. Un, it's really an ensemble, but she's the lead of the show. It doesn't the ensemble change though. <laughs> some people get added. Some people go away for a short while. Oh, but, okay. Like. All right. Uh. You know, also give some respect. It was the only show that Prince ever agreed to appear on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I respect that. Prince liked it. <laughs> what makes yeah. you better than Prince? Your tastes are superior to Prince? Uh, you know, I don't die when I get in elevators. Dang. I don't die when I get in elevators on copious amounts of pharmaceutical drugs that I shouldn't be taking in the first place. <laughs> wow. You're, you're a king. You just disrespected Prince. Congrats, Bob. No, <laughs> more so, he shouldn't have been put on those meds, man. Yeah. He couldn't take that shit. All right, let's watch. He didn't do drugs for years, man. Let's watch his homophobia from this puppet. (laughs) (laughs) 
Damn, dude. This is a fucked up scene. Oh, he beats her? <coughs> <coughs> he said, I'm a real Philly <coughs> nigga. In a falsetto voice. So just imagine <coughs> this is Meek Mill. Or dude. imagine it's a puppet. <laughs> What's fucked up? Dude, she like commits to it. She's yeah, like she does. They, everybody crying. commits to it. <coughs> Sometimes they don't commit to it. Yeah. And it's like very noticeable. Okay. Like this one time this he was flirting with this lady and you could see her like smile, like laughing a little bit. Yeah. And it's like, no, you gotta commit to it. This that is that does make it better. This the deadpan humor of this weird, <coughs> almost yeah. gritty show yeah. <laughs> is funnier. Jesus, you, man. <laughs> it's like, and, and the, let me just explain what happened. Jesus. So Peanut just said, "What, what, what you say? What you say? We don't open doors in the house. We don't open doors in the house. We can call us down. We can call us down." Jesus, like being disrespectful <laughs> yeah. to this butch lesbian yeah. who I guess Peanut had sex with, Dude, I... and then told her to uh, <clears throat> get some more nafta pill to prevent Jesus, from. Uh, <clears throat> I just. I couldn't imagine being that way to somebody I had sex with. Yeah. You know. See, that's what that's the <laughs> that's the social benefit of peanut from two <laughs> two one five. <laughs> it opens. It leads to discussions about. <laughs> I I want to know more about who what even the idea behind this is because really? it's fascinated me for years. You haven't found the information though? I know. <clears throat> Doesn't exist? I don't know. You just never Googled it? <sighs> That's the homework I want you to do, man. <laughs> <clears throat> My therapist gave me some homework. She told me to look up the background information about Peanut from the 215. <laughs> I don't know why she was curious. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to help me. <laughs> uh, man, I don't know how long uh, I can be in therapy anymore. All we do is watch YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. I am paying so much money for these appointments. She doesn't even know my name. I could really watch David Dobrik at home. I don't need to do this. You know, I don't. I didn't actually. I don't know. need to watch exclusively uh, Shane Dawson videos where he's doing Shanae. Ever, dude. So you know, I didn't actually know who David Dobrik was. Yeah. Until, like, somebody explained to me. I've never YouTube. watched a full David Deborah video. I just heard about him because I know about YouTube culture. Dude, I know about YouTube culture. I had no clue who David Dobrik was. No. Oh. In all honesty, I didn't he know makes, until he, he gave away a Tesla. I think he makes some real vlogs. And I think also when he was dating Liza Koshy, he did, like, fake vlogs. Right? I don't know who that is. Liza Koshy was also a vlogger. Uh-huh. Is also a vlogger? I don't even know. She, um... Wait... I think she was popular because she was, like, goofy or whatever. Oh, okay. Dude, I... See, I don't follow that vlog shit, though. Yeah, I don't I don't follow them, really. I just like, know about YouTube culture. Like, I knew a little bit about Casey Neistat. Yeah. Uh, I knew him... You know, I've told you how I know with Casey Neistat, right? I think so, but refresh me. He had a uh, YouTube show with his brother, yeah. I believe. No, a HBO show with his brother. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I meant. I can't remember what it was called. I think mm-hmm. it was called The Neistat Bros. Actually, look it up. Okay. Do you want to look up the Nice Stab Bros? Yeah. Nice Stab Brothers, yeah? Yeah. That's what it was called? Yep. That's right. In 2010. Yep. Damn. What did they do? I think it... I'm not exactly... I can't even remember. It's, go down. Hold on just a second. Sorry, I had it. I've been pulling off the little uh, rubber pieces on the bottom of my keyboard because they have that sticky stuff on them and I like putting it in my mouth uh, so I had to put it back on they're losing their stick though <laughs> I like chewing on things I shouldn't chew on like a child you know what my favorite thing to chew on is what dude electrical cords man <laughs> they are so spicy actually I think I know your favorite thing to chew on penises because you're gay oh I thought you were gonna call me a cannibal not a cannibal, it's only for sex. Yeah. Only chew on them for sex. 
Don't swallow, though. <laughs> That's what makes me not gay. Uh. That's fucking dumb. Yeah. Yeah. That was the. That's why I did it. That's why I said it. Oh, bit. this just took me to this nice stats. That yeah. Was just nice stats. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That, see, there's like no like real information about it. Yeah. I uh, just remember it. I don't think it's it's even on HBO, like uh, Max or Go, whatever. So it does. It, 2008 purchased an eight episode television series, uh, for just under two mil. Uh, I think I liked it for its like creative transitions which you know if you've ever seen nice that's vlogs he is also known for his creative transitions and stuff like that so it's basically just stories from their lives it was like a sort of reality show i think yeah that's yeah weird. i can barely remember it honestly uh, but uh that's interesting i didn't know that so i i only knew Ooh, go, ooh go. play another peanut from the 215, but there's like one where it was like a shooting or something. It's like so weird. Is it payback? Yeah, I think it's it. Nah. Is that, it. that's, uh, what's his face? Who? Uh, no, it's not. Never mind. I thought that was Vince Staples. No, what? Vince Staples from California. This is from Philly. <laughs> I've told you this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Weed pins? Ooh! Uh, pound come up? That's the one where she's flirting with the girl and she's like one? laughing a little bit. Okay. Remember one, another one where he's flirting with a girl and he's like, Okay, get money! Okay, get money! And I don't know why that, that stuck in my head. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Okay. Uh, what were we talking about? Um, you know. Oh. Uh, who cares? I'm not voting ultimately uh, for these people. So who gives a shit that yeah. uh, Joe Biden chose Camilla Harris? You're you're not voting for president. No. You're voting locally though. Yes. And by voting, you mean you're jerking off on the ballot. No, I'm gonna vote. <laughs> you heard it here. I don't know why you're saying these weird things. Javon. Get a nut on the ballot, put it in the machine. Get all the ballots pregnant. Nah, that's not true. Yeah. Um, yes, it is. Uh, I saw you vote last last election. I don't know why you're looking at my votes. <laughs> they pay you to look at black people's votes. <clears throat> make uh, sure we, make sure they don't count. What? Why'd you stop talking? What's that noise? Probably somebody taking a shower. Or oh, okay. I I, it just sounded like somebody opened the door and it was raining that hard. All right. You know what makes me laugh right now? What? Uh, it this sort of makes me laugh because of just how blatant it is. Oh, the photo of uh... Sarah Silverman posted on her Instagram a picture of her. Uh, it says Camp Chappelle magic. If this is some sort of stand-up tour, it's happening during yeah. COVID. Yeah. They took all. They took this. It's like the people in the photograph are Dave Chappelle, uh, along with Sarah. There's Dave Chappelle, um, Jalil White, Common, Talib Kweli, Tiffany Haddish, Michelle Wolf, and uh, standing with his hands on both of the other women in the photograph on their shoulders, <laughs> and then Sarah at his feet is Louis C.K. Yeah. <laughs> Smack dab in the middle of the photo. Yeah. They didn't hide him to the side. It's like, there he is. <clears throat> He's. Listen, I knew these people were friends. Yeah. I knew these people were friends, and I knew they probably didn't stop hanging out with him after it happened. Yeah. It was not like they dropped him like a bag of bricks, <laughs> but it's it is just so funny that they're that blatant. It's like it's, he Dude, still I, really hasn't made up for shit. It's insane. Yeah. And they don't really. I just. I, I mean, Sarah Silverman when it first came out, she was like, "Can I still love him? Because he's still my good friend or something like yeah. that." Yeah. And then she also said, "Yeah, he jerked off in front of me. I didn't care." Really? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't. What? Uh, I, I couldn't have a relationship like that. What? Like, that? like, unless I was engaging in activities with that person, I, you couldn't do that and us still be, like, friends. They, it's... Especially, I, like... She was fine with it, so... Yeah, that's just, I, I couldn't do that myself. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, and I know it doesn't matter to the case, it's just weird to me. No. 
Yeah. What matters is that he did that to other women and they weren't okay with it. Exactly. Um, if if they are okay with it, it's one thing. Yeah. But if they're not okay with it. Yeah. And it's like, uh, wh- why? It's it's just crazy <laughs> that they, did, they took this photograph. Yeah. And also, if this is like some sort of stand up tour, which. It says Camp Chappelle. Look up Camp Chappelle. Hold on just a second. Doing that thing with the. Uh, the gum, the gummies, the underside of my keyboard. Stop eating Flintstones diamonds <laughs> during the show. Um, let's see here. Uh, just click on any one of them. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. You you run this shit sometimes. Why is Dave Chappelle still dressed like Dave Chappelle? What? From the nineties. He's always, he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, I know, I just, just uh, yeah. okay, Go up, go up to the very top. All right. Made sure to have a blast in a social distance way during the 4th of July weekend. Venture back to his hometown in Dayton, Ohio, and hosted Chappelle's summer camp. It's not his hometown, it's just where he lives. Which featured comedic and musical performances. Those in attendance included Erica Badu, Common, Follow Carlis. Okay, so this was the one that Louis appeared at. <laughs> mm-hmm. Also, how is this socially distanced? Look at this photograph. The photograph has them all just on stage. Yeah, I, I feel like it's not them socially distancing, but it's... The uh, audience is socially yeah. distanced from them. Well, because they're not strangers. Yeah, but still, you shouldn't be like, yeah. no mask, nothing. Really, yeah. Wait, is that John Hamm? Right there? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. And the Roots are there? Yeah. Uh, didn't somebody from the Roots die? I d- can't remember. I don't know. I actually would really like one of those masks. Yeah, I still, I still would, tight. honestly. Yeah. They're pretty tight. Uh, the Chappelle logo yeah. mask. Dude, the Chappelle logo is so tight. No lie. Uh, is he in this photo? Wait, Louis? Yeah. No. No. I don't think he's in every single one of the photos. Mm. Oh, man. Go, up, go down. Sorry. This is unrelated. This is a story. It says... Uh, Madonna wishes eldest son Rocco happy birthday with labeled photo series. What is the... I can't remember which son that she said she wished her son happy birthday on social media. She said my favorite little nigga. And it yeah. still makes me laugh every time I think of it. It's like, what if all these... If this labeled photo series on Instagram. It's just her going... It's like, my nigga Rocco. My nigga Rocco at age 8. My nigga Rocco at age 14. My nigga Rocco at age 14. <laughs> Uh, I, I would laugh pretty hard. <laughs> it's, it's like she thought that was okay. I, dude, I, I don't know. I can't, we, Madonna doesn't get that pass, dude. No, obviously, fucking not. Nobody gets the pass, really. But click on Madonna's. Does she have a mixed race son? I think, dude. There I don't had to be a reason why she got. Is that Tupac's kid? Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just her children? Well, look up mixed race son. <laughs> okay, alright. Was that mixed race or is it adopted? I actually don't know. Uh, Lord's Leon. She looks mixed race. Oh, uh, here are her kids. Are, these mi- are they adopted? I they do, look adopted. I, I don't fucking know. Should I look at like her wiki? Yeah, let's look at her wiki. <clears throat> Oh, speaking of Italian people, um, there's a story I, that popped up on... I thought Madonna was uh, Jewish. No, she's Italian. Huh. Look at her Look at her birth name. Go all the way up. Look at her birth name. Madonna Louise uh, Siccioni? Yeah. Siccioni? Yeah, she's Italian. Okay. Uh, um, there's a story that popped up on Instagram of some woman talking about how she was at her friend's house. Uh-huh. In the Hamptons, and her son, and her friend's uh, son, mm-hmm. who's like twenty. Uh, apparently, the mom was cleaning his room, and she went, uh, and she found like thousands of dollars, <clears throat> and she was like, "Oh, he must be selling drugs or something." And it turns out uh, he's been jiggling himself. He got a COVID test, and he's negative. And apparently, because of that, he started 
like some lady was interested in buying his sexual services. He's been jiggling himself to local women in the, in the Hamptons who've been paying him for sex. Who is this? It's just some lady. No, who is who is kid you're talking about? The friend's kid. Who's friends? The lady. I just said a lady was on Instagram. Oh, oh okay. I just I missed that part. I was reading that. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, how old's the kid? Twenty. <clears throat> okay. That's that's fine. Yeah. But the Damn. mom is mom get is like oh she going she's trying to make him return all the money and I'm like to her friend. What? Wait. So. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Return Just, the money to the clients. Fuck no. Exactly. He earned that money. Exactly. She has no right. Yeah. That that really yeah. is that parent thinking they own their like they can make their kid like no he's twenty. Yeah. Fuck off. He can, and the whole dread is just like oh, look at this juicy gossip. I didn't like the tone of the dread. Yeah. I also didn't. It also felt sex shamey. Mm-hmm. Like he's shaming him for doing it. Yeah. It's like this is hilarious. And he's like he's <laughs> she's making him return all the money. He's going to return to school penniless. Is that, is that funny? Also, he's not going to. Yeah. He better keep the money. Also, <coughs> I'm, it's not 100% sure that it's it actually happened either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my question, too, is, like, why would you have that shit in cash? Yeah. Like, first off, go to the bank. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, for real. Or cash app it. Yeah. Uh, maybe not cash app. Why? Because big things like that, especially when they go through, like, a cash app sort of thing, um, because you have to get taxed at a certain point. Yeah. Especially when you get into thousands. Yeah. That's when you have to start getting taxed. Yeah. Now, if you made $1,000, that's one thing. But if you got paid $1,000, like, lump sum. Yeah. Maybe not 1000 maybe a little bit more than 1000 You actually have to pay tax on that shit. Yeah. It's gift tax. Yeah. So, if... And, like, you also have to be wary about putting it into your bank account. Yeah. Because if you just start depositing, like, ass loads of money all the time, they're going to start They're going to be suspicious, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Make it out of there or go in yeah. trouble legally. So, like, what you have to do, uh, you know, that's actually where, like, money laundering comes in with, uh, like, casinos. Yeah. You go, you cash it, you get in chips, you play a couple games, then you cash out. Yeah. Or you keep those chips, those chips hold value. Well, then you go and cash those chips in when you need that money. Yeah. You know what annoyed me? <clears throat> Another thing that annoyed me was her response, the lady who posted the story. Yeah. On uh, on Twitter, uh, like when people were like questioning, like going that, okay, she's going to like mess up her relationship with her son if she don't mind her business about his business. Yeah. And she was like, yo, you don't know Italian mothers. Cause, and that's like revealing that the lady's Italian. <laughs> who gives a shit? Also, so who gives a shit about your like what spicy ethnic mom stereotype? I don't care. The <laughs> Italians aren't spicy. That there, there's a spicy like association with Italians, and you, you know what I mean by spicy. Just like, uh, like you know, meatballs, dude. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> it's a I mean, spicy meatball. I mean, but... like you know, just like a mom who gets all uh, angry and emotional <laughs> and stuff like that. So I thought the spicy had more to do with the Italian. No, I just mean like there's a lot of a spicy moms across the. Oh, you're saying that like exotic moms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's like what? Who cares? I thought that would be funnier than it was, but who who cares about? Who cares if she's Italian or not? No, you need to like it doesn't. And then somebody, another person, like adding to that, it's like she's Italian. They'll be fine. There's no way that he's going to like. Like not do what his mom says. She, they're Italian. Yeah, that, that relationship's tight. Like, nah, fuck that. I always would, would, okay because he's Italian. He's got to be a mama's boy. He's gonna do exactly what his mom says because he's Italian no. or some shit. Shut up. Fuck no. No people, people. People have no matter the race have to have respect for themselves <clears throat> yep. and understand that there's boundaries to a parent to a relationship between a parent and a child as adults. Also, it doesn't matter your race or creed. Yeah, you can have problems with your parents. Yeah. That's just how it is. People suck, man. Yeah. People fucking suck. And those people also happen to be parents. Yeah. People. And kids. Yeah. Kids fuck over their parents. Yep. Parents fuck over their kids. It's even worse when parents fuck over their kids. Yeah. Kids can fuck over their parents. 
Okay. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. In my eyes. It's not okay, but <laughs> it's in my eyes. A lot of a lot of kids talking over their parents is okay. It's not okay. You need to work out your stuff <laughs> and then come back to the show. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> it did it did come out a little bit, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was pretty obvious when I did it. Yeah. I when I said it, I was like, ooh man, like I know people that I'm making it's this. It's okay joke. to uh, kill your parents. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's okay, okay to go full Menendez. It's okay. To, <laughs> it's okay to chop them up, and then redo your fence, and then bury them, their body parts, <laughs> in the fence post holes. <laughs> That's actually if you're local. All right, I'm that, calling uh, somebody about this. That, so that joke's actually uh, very interesting. The uh, have you heard about the shit going on in Bardstown, Kentucky? No. So there's been a lady that's been missing for a bunch of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's been a bunch of murders. And there's been, basically, there was a meth ring and a ring of meth. On down, down, down in a burning <laughs> ring of meth. <laughs> uh, so there was a, uh, a drug operation in mm-hmm. Barstown, Kentucky, and there were cops in on it. Yeah. Um, somebody was getting snitched on. Uh, so some cops wound up dead. This lady wound up missing. Uh, and she knew what was going on. Um, basically, <clears throat> the body's been missing for a while. Uh, it's being glossed over because Bar sounds kind of a small town. Um, but these with people, a lot of secrets. <laughs> yeah, no, that's literally how it is. And uh, so David Lynch <clears throat> and all the filmmakers and, and television creators that have made shows about small towns with secrets. Yo, so are correct about all small towns. <laughs> so uh, one of the local news stations actually started a podcast about it uh, because it was. I no no <clears throat> let me let me say something. Why is that the only way to get, like, cold cases investigated these days? Dude, I You have to start a true crime podcast. I really don't know. But that is what happens. It's messed up. The FBI has actually reopened the case and is investigating currently. Um, and you gotta... Everyone's gotta have a serial to get anyone to actually give a shit about a murder. Yeah, dude. It's fucking wild. But uh, that's really what happened. It went cold for a few years. And then they started this podcast because it had been cold. And the the... The thing is, is that Bart sounds a small town, and words got around. Yeah. People were talking about it. Uh, one of my coworkers, that's where I got the fence The, the phrase is just word got around. Words got around? Yeah, okay. But, uh, you know, and so, people talk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> one of my coworkers, he was telling me that from somebody, he has family down there, and they told him. And sentences were uttered. It's a small town, and everybody, like, say words to each other. <laughs> Everybody used word talk good to people. <laughs> Everybody spoke English at each other face ears. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you know, when you said utters, I really wanted to make a Chris Hardwick uh, back at the barnyard joke. Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> uh, back at the barnyard? Oh, because he was a pig? I mean, he was the cow? He was a male cow. Yeah, with utters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh... <laughs> it's Kevin James in the original movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. And then it was Chris Hardwick on Chris the Wick show. Chris Wick on the show. Chris Wick? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Chris Wick, Bert, Bozeman. Wait. Chad oh, Bozeman oh. was the dude who played Black Panther in the Black Panther. Oh, uh... Shit, dude, I... I uh, Toro y Moi. You know that band? No. Not at all. You probably have. Yeah. You probably have. Uh, I think his name's, like, Chazwick Bundy. Or is that shit. his real name, or is that like some like Bert Merlin Manson shit? It's uh, sort of made up. I think it's an, it's like Chaz Bundwick, but he goes by like sometimes he says uh, Chazwick Bundy or something. I don't fucking know, man. Fuck it. Uh, so <laughs> basically, what he told us the other day was that from his family, Ooh. he heard that the person that killed the lady. Can I start a band and call it Shirley Temple Black? <clears throat> I like that. Look up Shirley, you know, Shirley Temple. That was her. I think it was like her adult name was Shirley Temple Black. Uh, really? Yeah. Shirley Temple Black, you're 100% right. Also, is she black? What? <laughs> is she mixed? Is she like. No! Oh, okay. Right. She said black. Oh, that's like a colorized photo, isn't yeah, it? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Dude, she looked like she could have been black, man. Shit, give me that fucking shit, man. This is a colorized photo. I'm sorry. <laughs> she looks darker complected. No, she doesn't. Okay, maybe I'm seeing shit, man. I've been staring at a computer all day. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> your eyes are flat. <laughs> so basically, what he told me he heard from his family is that the dude that killed Lady chopped her up and then redid his fence. Jeez. And apparently, uh, 
certain types of fence posts have to be dug like six feet underground. Yeah. And concreted. Yeah. Or you have to pour concrete in it. Concrete is not a word. Excuse me. All Very right. sorry. Keep going. Apologize. Keep though. going. Just keep going. <laughs> sorry, I burped. Oh my god. No one cares. I keep was burping. Going. It wasn't audible necessarily. <sighs> but I want to apologize because that's a rude thing to do. Oh my god. This is just my annoying. burps were rude. Jay-Bow. And you know this is annoying. <laughs> Um, that's the worst part of it. <laughs> what was I talking about? We're going to move on from the story if you don't actually get the goddamn point. I said my point, basically, man. There's nothing else to say. Just might have buried her in the fence post. That's it. <sighs> God damn it. I mean, that was it. <laughs> we are going to edit out the sound. All right, man. <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> the sound um, of silence. Look at my quads. Uh-huh. Uh, what else was there to talk about? Because I've, because you, you had like a, you had a list, you had a lisp. Um, I never had a lisp. I had a bad stutter as a as a kid. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I have a speech impediment. Yeah. I never. It's where your speech is uninteresting. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> actually I did. I have a stutter too. I just you know how I like hesitate no, a lot. No, I had a stutter, and you're just making it up because you want to be cool like me. <laughs> So, you know how I, like, hesitate a lot when I speak? Like, I'll yeah. pause. I mean, you should. You should really hesitate when you say anything. <laughs> I should I should really think about things. Uh, <laughs> you should would, You should think about things. Even, like, unrelated to speech. Just think. <laughs> about things. You know I think about a lot of shit, right? <laughs> you don't have a degree in philosophy, right? Mm-hmm. Degrees mean nothing to me. <laughs> so, uh, uh... What was I saying? So, uh... Oh, fuck, dude. I genuinely lost my train of thought now. I was saying something, wasn't I? Uh, I don't know. Also, literally all, everybody, uh, everybody who ran, every lady in politics or who ran in the, uh, Democratic, um, election. Yeah. Is, like, trending on Twitter right now. Oh. Uh, I wonder how many of them are gonna refuse to support Kamala. Bruh. Is he is he chewing on himself again? Yes. Dog. Can you do something about your dog? I, I think it might be his time, man. It is his time, yeah. Okay. We know. Okay. You just I don't know what to do. Uh, okay. It's a rough I'm, decision. I'm not a vet. I'm not putting him down. Why? When he goes, he goes. I'm not putting okay. him down. Alright, man understand let's uh usps is gonna be put down soon yeah that's that's the other topic you're yeah, finally I like that segue no okay. that, that segue depressed me i didn't yeah, appreciate I that segue at all <laughs> but uh that's why it was funny i don't know why you think bringing dark clouds to people's lives is funny. Gonna, somebody's gonna <laughs> but the usps they're gonna, they're they're gonna take a usp uh, USPS out uh, to the backyard, uh, you know, close their eyes, grit their teeth, and take it out old Yeller style. Was that one? Was that worse? That was way worse. Um, Is this uh, United States Postal Service? You know, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I know, I'm not, aware. Not hitting a vein. I know. <laughs> Is it too much? I don't care, man. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought it was fun. Wait, who's Mina Harris? Dude, I don't know, man. Apparently, I follow him on Instagram. No, you follow April. Who retweeted it? Oh, huh? Oh, I, I, I do follow April. Who retweeted it? Uh. Okay. Um. Oh, look at me. I'm Javon. I spend more time on Twitter, so I understand how things work. <laughs> the USPS, the United States Postal Service, is the Democrats are thinking about defunding it because a Trump guy has been instated as its lead, leader, and they think that he's like slowing down the service to like fuck with the election or something yeah and i'm like why can't we have one thing that we can all agree is good yeah. everybody agrees yeah, the that the united service. states postal service is is a good thing yeah if there's if it's had any troubles it, it needs reform or to actually be left alone because i honestly think that they've been fucking with it like on both sides both parties have been fucking with it so they could privatize it for years oh yeah no it's been a thing yeah for the, probably for the past like 20 years or so yeah 
probably even longer. And I think they're getting closest that they've ever have to actually yeah. achieving that goal. And that is disgusting. <clears throat> yeah. We can't have one thing that everybody in the United States benefits from. Everybody. Yeah. From the most rural parts to the most metropolitan parts. Everybody benefits. Yeah. It's disgusting. It really depressed me. I went on. I was <clears throat> mad as hell about it the other day. Dude, I don't blame you. It's, it's a big deal. <clears throat> it really is. Uh, you know, it, it's not even just the service that we have to think about. The people. It's the people. Employ so many people. <clears throat> yeah. Thou- hundreds, <clears throat> millions of people. Yeah. It also, it provides information to people that would otherwise have no access to that information. Exactly. You know people, where the, the mail- most rural parts yeah. of the country. People that don't get high speed internet still get mail. Exactly. People that can't get cable still come, get mail. Come <laughs> sun, wait, come sleep, come, come ah, I can't forget, what's uh, the phrase? Uh, you know, the only reason I know that phrase is from Hey Arnold. Okay. There was a, you remember the mailman on Hey Arnold? Yeah. He, there's a episode that opens with uh, him in the snow. It's like, I hate the sleep, I hate the rain, I hate the snow. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still doing it. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, hate the mail. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, man, it's... Dude, because, like, uh, I just... Does it, uh, Most other countries have... I actually don't know. That's that's something I'm curious about too. Are there countries that exist with privatized, uh, privatized like mail systems? You look it up. That's a good question. Well, here's the thing, man. Is it still a mail system? If it's not the USPS, because um, isn't mail like a national thing? I don't know. Look at just look it up. What was the phrasing I used? Privatized mail system. I don't know. Uh, okay, this is this is a uh, yeah <clears throat> yeah the USP. This is a good somebody on Twitter made a good point. This guy by the name of Con E Polo uh-huh. said the USPS sat so centrally in the infrastructure of the economy, its very existence suggesting that things can be done well without needing private enterprise handling it. It had to go. Is that is how this country views it. Here we go. List of national postal services. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the question you're asking. Right, right here. Yes. Okay. On Cora. <clears throat> so I'm just one. I was, just, was hoping there was like a big ass list. Uh, this is like somebody telling a whole ass story about being a humanitarian aid worker in World Torn Republic of the South Sudan for fucking year. It doesn't help much. Apparently, South Sudan didn't have a postal service for a while. But that doesn't answer my question. Uh, apparently Guatemala had their postal service was abolished because of a financial loss Jesus that's sad well it had uh, financial losses horrible service rampant theft and corruption so no it's sad no matter what <clears throat> yeah no it's sad <clears throat> no Javon it's sad um huh well I did see that there were a bunch of uh because there's a whole Wikipedia article on postal service privatization, uh, and it's like Germany, Portugal, Japan, uh, the UK, um, all have uh, countries that are moving towards a privatized system. Wait, let me see. What's the UK's <laughs> status? Royal Mail. Which postal service? In- the company is subsidiary, so it's already it's a public li- it's a public limited company. That is nationally traded. Internationally traded, rather. <clears throat> hmm. It is a private system. Dude, I... Uh, they have... 
wasn't the Postal Service a vital portion of our country's infrastructure at one point? It's in the Constitution. Really? Yes. Jesus, man. But yet, thou shalt not remove post. Yes, the Bible, also known as the Constitution. Yes. Uh, the Ten Commandments, also known as the Constitution. Uh, essentially, two, two certain people in this country might as well. Be. Oh, oh, yeah, no, yeah. All right, it's been fun. Yeah, uh, it's, but been, it's been, it's been fun. It's been another episode, and it's been fun. Of uh, two thousand and four. Yeah, and it's been fun. This, a this, podcast, obviously. This episode has been fun. Yeah. It's been alright. It's been fun. I'm David M. Gordon. It's been fun. Just say your goddamn name. <laughs> no, 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 I changed my name to Ben Fun. Before the end of the show. It's a stupid name. I hate that name. Benjamin Fun. Mm. Of the Fun Dynasty. Do you age backwards? Like uh, Benjamin Button? My brain does. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've observed this for years. And I'm only going to live to 26. <laughs> Is that why you referred to yourself as a kid? I am a... You've been I, aging back... Your brain's been aging backwards. Dude, I'm about to start speaking baby gibberish. <laughs> I was a genius as a child, though. So I've got a few more years. Yeah. See, that's the thing, dude. I actually started out really smart as a kid. I started you were talking actually, at a young age. You were Stephen Hawking? <clears throat> When you were a kid? Uh, yeah, as a baby, I was crippled, and yeah. uh, oh, dude, I felt so bad about saying that. What? Crippled. You were you were crippled. I was a uh, uh, dude. Uh, uh, real quick, I told you about that doctor. You were, your lady. body was dumb, and you, <laughs> when I you told were a kid, <laughs> my body. It was like you know, my brain. My brain was good, but my body was retarded. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, I yeah. thought about saying it, but you said it. So man. <laughs> Man, all right. Should I take that out? Nope. Let's end on that note. This is I wanted to take it out, but I didn't. A podcast. It was for the joke. I would never say that. I'm Javon Gordon. I told you about that. Uh, this is Bobby DeVore. This has been 2004. <laughs> Javon, you're gonna let me say that? Mm-hmm. How how could you do that as a co-host? You're just gonna you know let me be so problematic. <laughs> you're not gonna stop me and talk about how wrong that is. Uh, you are a shitty friend, Javon. <laughs> In and the an show. even worse social justice fighter. <laughs> the show.